Hi, hi, Genki Call here with the Mirrored Halls Faction Assault. I have six teams to share with you today. You can pick and mix however you like. You can switch things up if you want, but six teams for you. Therefore, this is part one of my Faction Assault video for Mirrored Halls. Uh, you can find part two, a link in the description box below. But for now, let's get to it. First, I'm going to buy some things here. Get a couple tiers here. Only going to buy two, you know, for people that don't like to spend a lot of money so that you can see how things go with just the first two potions. Now the mirror orb, the faction assault weapon is here and it should also be in the forge today for today only. Um, yeah, I've never used it, I've had it since forever. Um, you know, it's an okay weapon. So, oops. Well, I guess that was good timing. Let's grab my tributes real quick and head back into the Faction Assault fight. The first team I've got for you is, this is not the one I want to show you right now, Paste. This is my Wild Folk team. So this one's a lot of fun. Um, Pan, oh, pardon. Pan is useful for this right here. I love that it, that every time you get a match four, you're getting extra life and magic. Magic makes your spells more powerful, so this is going to go up every time. Um, Queen Beatrix causes a lot of match fours with her spell, so that means this team will last you for quite a while. Also, King Selenus is here, not because I want to use him, but because he gives all wild folk 50% mana. For, to start off. And because I'm using Bard class, that includes my hero. So Mountain Crusher here for mana accumulation. Of course, I've got those explosions, but you know, this still works even when you don't have any potions uh, on board for a while. I wouldn't take this super high, but it's a nice fast team to start off with. So let me show you how that goes. On these early levels, I always you do every single room because I enjoy it. I'm gonna go ahead and use this just for the heck of it. This will get my stealthy dude out of the way. The doppelgangers are a pain. And that's it for this. So these early levels go really fast, pretty much no matter what team you're using. But um, Let me just go ahead and show you. Now, something I really like about the Mirrored Halls Faction Assault is that there are four treasure rooms here. This is a good, um, this is a good place to consider leaving um, at lower level, not taking it too terribly high because it's a great place to, uh, to milk for, uh, if I could talk, it would help. It's a great place to milk for treasures. Um, you know, most people do City of Thieves. I like City of Thieves, it's great. Um, but I like having more than one site to... Uh, why is my vocabulary um, abandoning me tonight? I don't know. That's okay, let's just get this out of the way. Maybe I'll remember what I was trying to say later. <laughs> oh, I could have done Pan there, he's so fun. Pan is a lot of fun. This team is a lot of fun. As you know, it's something different. It's nice to change things up now and then because otherwise things get stale and boring. Um, so let me show you treasure rooms. Uh, it's a treasure room because this gives your troops a bonus, not the enemy. This one is a treasure room for the same reason. Greedy is awesome. And you can see what that does right here. This one, we have Death Touch for our team, not for theirs. And this one, this is gonna change every single time, but this one also does Greedy. So if you decide you don't want to risk fighting the Mimics who can devour you, then you can just skip that room and go straight for the Leprechauns. But for now, let me see, that's 400. I should have been paying more attention. Let's go here first. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of all these guys at once. Oop. 
Now, technically, because this is a faction assault, I could head straight for the exit now because I just found the Foul Raven for this particular delve. But like I said, I like getting all of the rooms taken care of because the benefits are so good. Those high level treasure chests at the end of the delve, I really love those, gotta say. Oops, gave him a match four. That's okay. And look, he is. He is submerged, which means that Queen Bee can't hit him, but I still have two troops that can, so. Beep. <laughs> that goat noise. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, because I can. I'm not too worried about the mimics right here at the front, because they're not gonna have time to. Ugh. I forgot about lycanthropy. They're not gonna have time to get the mana to devour me, so not too worried about them right now. Let's see, we'll do this. And we'll do that. Um, I will have teams here that do not include mythics for you, because not everybody has mythics. Um, so I have been sure to include some of those in my lineup. Uh, however, most of them do contain Queen Beatrix. I absolutely love her. Uh, she is just so useful. Um, she's great in delves. Uh, yep, we're just going to go for the insta-kills here. That noise you just heard, that money noise, was greedy because I got a match four and that means extra money. I do love getting extra money, honey. In this particular faction, this doppelganger sucks. Now, I have a problem with this troop. Because of the way this is worded, it says, transform into an enemy and curse them. But he doesn't always do that. You may cast your spell, they may not have a shield on them, they may not have any impervious traits or anything, and he may not transform. This technically should, they might transform into the enemy. I don't like that it doesn't say that, it kind of sucks. She also sucks, for the same reason. And this one sucks as well, so... <laughs> You gotta watch out for these guys and try to get rid of them quickly, which is, I'm all about it. I don't like dawdling on this stuff. If you've been watching my videos, you know I prefer to be very efficient about things. And doing things quickly is my way of doing stuff, so. Nice! My first delve chest is level 9. Let's see what we get. Alright, ooh. That's a nice bit of souls. Ooh, and quite a bit of chaos shards as well. Now, um, if you didn't know already, we have a new faction coming on Friday. So we've got a weekend faction assault coming. And that is awesome. I love faction assaults. They're so much fun. Let me grab the uh, code for the next team. I am doing that now. Now, I'm doing things a little unorthodox. Now, normally, I would put... I would put Leprechaun in here, but Leprechaun can't come in here because he is the wrong color. The only way you can get Leprechaun in here is if you're running with the Delve troops and you like Queen, um, Queen what's her face? The Mirror Queen. You can summon, uh, or no, it's a copycat that does it. I ended up with a Leprechaun in here once because of copycat. Anyway, so here's what I've got. I've got the Mountain Crusher for mana accumulation. Queen Beatrix, I love her. I'm never gonna stop saying that. King Gob Truffle, whom you get from a Mana Thrax. And the Blind Guardian. Now this is what's unorthodox. I want something to explode the board in case I don't have mana for my Mountain Crusher. This guy's actually really useful and I don't see people see him uh, use him very often. Um, blind Guardian, right. So, if you don't have Queen Bee, use two King, King Gob Truffles. If you don't have King Gob Truffle, use two Queen Bees. Very easy. 
or find somebody else however you like to do it it's all up to you but I am using Archer with this class I mean with this tr team I'm using different different classes for a lot of these teams just to show you um, Archer has the leaf storm that I love for these teams so when I blow things up early on boom lots of green coming down which is feeds these guys now you'd think we've got a mana block here she uses green and blue he uses green and blue so you'd think that he would get mana blocked but no you don't have to worry about that besides the fact that it's a faction assault when she blows off her spell she feeds him if she runs out of steam he feeds her so it works really well there's uh, this is a team that i've used usually with Le leprechaun of course but it's a team i've used quite a bit when i was much lower level this queen beatrix just allows you to get so far places you would never be able to get with um before you had her she just game changer just love her The board control with her is what's most important is, you know, once she gets going, it's like with the goblins, she just doesn't stop. All right, so Blind Guardian is, uh, I hadn't actually noticed that he, oops, here it is. He summons a dark storm at, or storm at the beginning of the battle. So my archer class that summons that leaf storm is not gonna work because of him. But I can at least show you, oh, nobody's got any mana. All right, well, I'll wait till a different round to see if I can figure something out here. Um, okay, he's got some mana, so I'll use him on this guy, just to show you that he blows things up, gets us mana, and get rid of folks. Now, I don't think Blind Guardian is a bad addition to this team, um, but the Dark Storm is a bit of a pain when I really want a Leaf Storm. Ooh, yes. So you might think about changing um, the Blind Guardian out to one of the other final troops that I'm using on my teams. Um, they are coming up in as soon as I finish this one. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to do that. Let's do that. Okie dokie. Board control, like I said. Love her! I'm going to try to shut up about her now. All right, let's see where we're gonna go next. 250, 1200, 400. We're going here. Okay, go ahead and go for that. Oops, he is going to just transform all of these brown into green. I'm gonna take his mana. <laughs> and blow things up. Yay! I love explosions. They're so fun. Alright, more explosions. Boom! Why not? No, wait a minute. Yeah, let's do him again. <laughs> kind of fun. Right, um, using Mountain Crusher will override the Dark Storm. It will also override the Leaf Storm, so gotta watch using the mountain crusher too depending on your what you're going for Let's see what is my multipliers 3.05 this nope okay so we're gonna go ahead and go down here be better with a team that uses purple. But let's override that dark storm now. Now it's a death storm. And now we're gonna take out this team. <laughs> Goodbye goblins. Now as much as I hate King Gob Truffle, I don't actually hate him. I just hate fighting him. I like using him. He has been nerfed, supposedly. I haven't seen too much of a difference. There's too much purple on this board. That's okay. Cedric can really screw up your team. 
Uh, the nice thing about this particular team is that Queen Bee can hit him no matter what. If she's got, he has stealthy, so he can, yeah, that's 1400, okay. Um, he has stealthy, so you can't target him, but when you've got troops that have splash damage or an area effect, AoE, then you can hit him. That is always nice. Oh! Oh, I forgot about that. Totally forgot. Oops. That's okay. I've almost got mana anyway. There we go. And... Blow things up. Blow things up again. Because I might be able to regain control that way. And I did. I got a match for so... Oh, she submerged. Hmm... No mana shield. Yay. There you go. Here we go. Gave her some skulls and now she's not submerged anymore. <sighs> okay, look at all this red that I don't need. But I do need that, so... That's always nice. Yeah, I'm thinking that Giblet, Giblet, Gimlet, Gimlet, oh my gosh. Gimlet or Divinia would be better in this spot than Blind Guardian. Okay, let's see, let's see. Get my B going here. She only has three mana. Oh, nah. Nah. There we go. Oh, look, he's got Reflect on. Nice thing about Mountain Crusher or anything that explodes things on the board, if they hit a single skull, you break that Reflection so that they can't hurt you. Not important right now, I just wanted to show you because higher level, that can do some major damage to you. See, she filled up Cob Truffle for me. Don't need him. Okay. Level 8, that's not bad. Grab those rewards. Oh, I'm liking the glory. I do like having plenty of glory. Okay. Next team. Paste. Yes. Now you can see I'm using Gimlet here. Um, he is a mana converter. Okay, let me show you what I've got. If you don't have life and death, then uh, then use Mountain Crusher like in the last video. Queen Beatrix. Not sure I showed her before. Arachnian Weaver. Now, the nice thing about Arachnian Weaver is that if one of the enemies you hit but hit dies, then you get extra mana. Explosion, lots of mana. You could get an extra an extra turn or two. It's fantastic. Love it. And this is a very powerful summon. It's just the web spinner does so much damage. And Gimlet is just a mana converter. He also gives life. And he is empowered, which means that when we start the battle, he will be ready to go. I'm using Orb Weaver this time. Uh, my Leaf Storm teams are Archer, Orb Weaver, and Shaman. I know those three right offhand. I have uh, Orb Weaver show you. I've got Orb Weaver completely maxed out, but oh, that's nice. Um, I'm using it just to have the team code for you for something so you don't have to change the team if you don't want to. And here we go. Now Gimlet is going to be totally useless here, but I'm going to cast it. No, I'm not. I'm going to do that instead. Uh -huh. Let me show you how 
Arachne and Weaver just blows the hell out of things. Ah, oh, mana. See, it filled itself right back up. I can't call it a he or a she, it's an it. Okay. There we go. We have alignment here for a match four with Gimlet which helps this out. Should probably be using a green converter in here now that I think about it instead of brown, but life and death is very useful. And if you're not using life and death and you're using mountain crusher, then you can use that to blow things up. Okay. 1.5 multiplier here, which is great. Yep, let's go over here. It's always nice when the explosions at the beginning take out the enemy team. Makes it definitely fast. I sure do miss my Leprechaun, but Gimlet will be fine. 600, 250, plus a treasure room. So we'll go ahead and take out the other Gimlet here. Lady Storm Beard is fearsome. And it doesn't matter that these two are both submerged because life and death and Arachne and Weaver can still hit them. Just like this. Boom. <laughs> See, Cedric can completely screw up the synergy of my team by changing the order. Plus, I hate that you can farm my people, which is really difficult if you've got High King Iron Gut with you, but we don't have him with us right now, so I'm not worried about it. Low level, he's not going to have a chance to attack me, so it doesn't matter. And if you don't know, the treasure for that particular room, anytime you get Cedric, the amount of gold that I can have, I had to show you this. The amount of gold that I can have per battle is now 500. Now when you have Leprechaun, look, one match four gave me 20 gold. So every match four I can get in here is going to get me more, more gold. So coming across a Leprechaun room, any one of the rooms with Greedy is super helpful for uh, gold accumulation. She is not going to be able to hit two of them, but I don't care right this moment. I'm going to use this, get my match fours here, get Queen D loaded back up. Oh, that's right, it's not switching to green, I forgot. That's okay, let's take these guys out. Alright, there we go. go there's a treasure room with greedy so once I leave here uh, I'll show you what the multiplier is like on the match for is it'll go from 20 oh, already got 45 whoop, whoop. okay I'm gonna go ahead and take those guys out 110 for the battle and with my multiplier that becomes 714 So instead of, let me see if I can get a match four in here. Boy, I'm missing my leprechaun. Okay, I need a match four so that I can have a visual for people here. Oh, there's one right there. Here we go. So with one match four, I go to 60 with greedy instead of 20. Oh, it's so nice getting the two of them. All right, I'm going to let them have those skulls and take these guys out. And bloop. That should be it. 
One of the nice things about Queen Bee is the more you cast with any of your characters, the more powerful she gets. And let's get the final room here. Yeah, I'll take that. We've got a match four. Go ahead and get this down. It's always nice to have death mark too. Oh. oh, we've got reflect, but I don't care. She can't do too much damage to me. Souls, nice. And more Chaos Shards, that's great. Alright, that is the first three teams I have for you. Three more teams coming up in the next video. Find the link in the description below, and we'll see you in a few. Bye-bye!